y'all. We got it this morning and a wild hair hit us. It's fall here in Texas. It is 62 degrees. So we're going to hit the road and I think we're going to head to Oklahoma for today. You ready, Clay? Yeah. You've been to uh, Beaver's Bend before. I haven't. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Road trip. And you can't start a road trip without coming to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> huh, Clay? They have like eggs. Clay got eggs in a basket. Daddy got this. And I got eggs in a basket. Chloe and I always share um, a breakfast. I eat the, the eggs and the casserole, and Chloe eats the bacon. Chloe knows. What did Granny bring you, Chloe? You smell it? You smell it? She was looking in my purse <laughs> when I got in the car because she knows. Granny brings her bacon. This is why we decided to hit the road today. I mean, not really. I mean, we wanted to go somewhere. But look, y'all. Gas went under, I don't know if you can see it, went under $3 a gallon. What? It hasn't been under $3 a gallon in I don't know how long. It is expensive. Look, there's people, everybody's hitting the road. There was, oh, that must have been the one that was over there. Everybody's hitting the road. It's a beautiful day. So, we're going to join them. We're going to hit the road, too. So, what you looking forward to doing today, Clay? Mm, Going know. to the dam. There's yeah. a real pretty dam up there. Daddy said. Yeah, there is. I'm just looking forward to getting away and um, seeing something I've never seen What's before. Chloe said, uh, "Do not get my bacon, Papa. I, I'm telling you, don't get my bacon. She's gonna guard it. And in a minute, when nobody's looking, she'll eat it." Look at her. I don't get it. She said, oh, I don't know. I can't trust Clay and Papa not to eat my bacon, so <laughs> I better eat my bacon. I know it's probably not the smartest thing to do to give your dog bacon, but um, she, she likes bacon, and so I give it to her. They have their little country fest going on downtown. This must be their downtown. We're in, where are we? We're in Decab, yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. Their little pumpkins. Look, they have all the little stuff going downtown. And they have a little fair going. Here's where we're staying this weekend, y'all. Chloe, you coming, babe? Mm. Woo it's country. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> it smells like a hotel. Ugh. I hate that smell. Oh well. It's fine. At least they have a little coffee pot for you, huh? Oh, do they? Yeah. Got us a little country cabin. 
How about that, y'all? <laughs> That's the front part of where we're staying. I can't remember the name of this place, like Choctaw, Hoctaw. It may not be so bad. It might be a little bit country for what I normally like to stay, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Hi, huh, Chloe. She said, um, what am I supposed to do out here, Granny? I pee on the concrete, remember? There's some go-karts over there. You can hear the kids hollering. See them. Here they come. See? Go-kart racing. Can you hear the kids hollering? Y'all look at this wooden door. I love this country wooden door. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's awesome. We come all the way to Oklahoma for y'all to do what? <laughs> Are y'all piled up in bed watching TV? No, what? We drove all the way to Oklahoma for this? Yeah. We had done this at home. <laughs> We're going to eat at the restaurant and country store. You ready to eat, man? He says, welcome. Vegetables on it? <laughs> Mayonnaise okay? Mm -hmm. He likes mustard. Mustard. All right. You want French fries? Yes, ma'am. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the front end of an old car. What is that? Is that Dodge? Mm-hmm. Oh, we up off of the ground. Oh, my goodness. man. Clay, what did you get? Yeah, we got a little hamburger. Van got fish and he, we put all my hush puppies over there. So it looks like he got a plate of hush puppies. And I got fish and potatoes and some coleslaw. And then I gave him my beans too. Mm -hmm. Do you like pinto beans? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want them, Clay? Sure. He said sure he'll eat them. Clay's gonna eat these pinto beans. There you go, buddy. We're gonna dive in. I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but it is 9.30 at night. And we do look at this. We're at a hotel room in Oklahoma, and it's 9.30. Look at this, guys. And we hear snoring. Clay is over there snoring. And look at Chloe. She sacked out too. Lord have mercy. That disease is for older people. Not me. I take good care of myself. I'm at We're on Texas Army. 930 on Saturday night. Oh goodness, guys. It is midnight. And I think this bed must be like a twin size or something. We have a king size at home. Oh my god, I'm laying on about three inches of mattress here <laughs> between Dan and me and Chloe's laid out like she owns the place between us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna get no sleep tonight. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but Clay is over there snoring. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is snoring. Lord have mercy. First world problems in it when you complain about the size of your bed in a hotel room. Oh my God, y'all pray for me. All right, we're starting our day off. Well, it's not bright and early, but it is kind of early being as Dan and Clay snored so bad. I didn't get to sleep until about three. And it's about nine now, and we've already been up and checked out of our room and had breakfast, and now we're back in the park, and we're going to enjoy our day. It's nice and cool, so here we go.
pretty. It's very pretty. We used to go out there and clean the water. It's a pretty waterfall. I mean, it's big, but it's a pretty waterfall. What are those buoy things for? Keep the boats out of the that's that that there's a spill. That's where they make electricity. There he did it again. Woo! Yes, that's Dan calling out into the... <laughs> into the <laughs> what is this, the valley? <laughs> I, I would say it is. Yes, that was Dan calling his ancestors out in here. <laughs> calling again, Daddy. Woo! Wait a minute, I think I heard him answer. <laughs> <laughs> now he's calling the hogs. You're in the wrong state, Dan. It's very, very pretty. I wish you could feel what it feels like to be standing up here. Look at this little bit of water down there. standing on the dam and then it goes over and then here's the water over here
Oh, he said he ain't waiting on nobody. 